Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the One Thing About Us podcast. I'm Justin. And I am the Emerald Enchanter himself, the Shrek Lothario, the get out of my swoop, Alex. That was... <laughs> that was something. How are you doing, Alex? I'm okay. I'm actually not... Can't complain. Uh, it's been a busy day learning magic. I'm fucking exhausted. Not magic, but not magic is in spells. Magic the game with the cards. Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Yep. Commander. We played quite a few games today. At least eighteen. Yeah. Felt like it. <laughs> and we none of I won none of them. You won none of them. I won one. Well, I wouldn't call that a win. The very first. Hey, it don't <laughs> matter. Eric is steady wiping the floor with us. I wouldn't say wiping the floor. I'm wiping the floor with me. I, I get close. Well, I killed you the one. Well, yeah. Right. I killed you, and then, I, and then by killing you, I fucked myself. Om, Omnoth, the locus of rage, is mad. I fucked myself. I should by being spiteful. Mm-hmm. And went after you when I should have went for Eric. Yeah, and what did I call you? Go ahead and tell our viewers what you're new. You're new. <laughs> Name is the brother you never knew you needed. That's okay. The real the 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 game name, not not the real name. Or well, Brago you? is my commander. What are you? Or Stefan? No, that ain't, you ain't Stefan. Oh yeah, that is your black card deck. Captain is the vampire. No, you are a. <laughs> I don't remember. I can't now. I can't think of the word. It the, it was the see you next Tuesday. But it was a smug smug, because <laughs> he's so smug. He Oi, cunt! Like cunt. He just walks around with this like. I don't walk. I was, I was sitting down like, the whole I time. Just dirty looked him, and he's like, "I don't give a fuck that you're dirty looking me. You're dead." <laughs> I didn't say that. Well, I'll touch your foot if I want to. No, yeah, because what about your toe? No, this 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 foot. This foot. Yeah, this one. But uh, yeah, you just walk around with the smile. I wasn't face, walking anywhere. Trying. I was literally well, not sitting walking down. around, but like sitting like. Oh, I, I did stand up and look at your board. Yeah. Because I had to see what you had. Mm-hmm. Smug. I want to pay that because you killed my creature. I killed one creature. <laughs> one creature. And I never kill creatures. All I do is play lands. <laughs> All I do is play lands. Well, that's, that's, part of your, that's part of your thing. But now I'm like, I don't even know. You know, we haven't D&D in forever. And I'm wanting to D&D again. I keep asking y'all. Y- y'all keep saying, Man. Because the other one, it's a lukewarm... A lukewarm reaction. You're like, I'll take it or leave it. But I'm like, yeah, I'm not the one who said that. I would have took it. Well, you should have said something. Yeah, I should have. But you know what? Because he said, if he, a, he said, if y'all guys want to, I said, up to y'all. I'm more of a, you know, maybe next week take a take a break from magic and maybe D and D. But I don't know if you guys can take a break from magic because you're going to be looking online. Look at what I got for my deck. Look, I want to get a black deck. I want to get a green deck. Oh, he's that's him. Oh, but you have some stuff, $8,000 cards that you have saved that you showed me the other day. Oh, wait, no, 800000 800 Wait till my... You talking about that one card? You fucking around? Oh, we're going to You talking look. about that one card? Yeah. 100000 Oh, that's But horrible. I have it. I have that card. Do you? I just don't have the 100000 It's the same card. It does the same exact thing. It's just like that one that's that expensive. It's like the alpha pre-build or some shit like that alpha. I don't remember. Yeah, no, that's that's called ridiculous. But then I found, but I found, but I found the exact same card. Yeah. May not be the exact alpha edition, but it looks the exact same and it does the exact same for like eight bucks. Well, son of a bitch. That's my stasis. Players cannot untap during their uptap phase. Our two listeners are not going to understand what we're talking about. Uh, we've been. We've got six on this last episode. Our YouTube has been popping off. 25 views, 23 views, 22 views. Right. Grant, they only listen for like two minutes, but then... Yeah, because you can see how long they listen. Two minutes is not good. No, but... So that means after two minutes, they're like, I don't like these fuckers. So whoever it is, they're con- there's one of them that's consistent. Everyone they watch, they is put that, it on. Is, but I don't know who it is. But I'm, but I'm like, you need well, to watch the whole episode. I don't know. And I don't know what Andrew watches. Spotify on. or Apple? I think Angel. Well, my sister, I had her play it one time and put it on low volume. So I just get the views and the playthroughs for all the money. But that's that's not going to help us in the uh, the excess of time. We need a lot of people watching. I understand that. But 
But we need we're we're trying to talk about doing TikToks and stuff. We need to just we need to do it. Shoot ourselves and do it. Not shoot ourselves. What? No, let's not. Uh, stop shooting ourselves in the foot. I'm the depressed one, so let's. And I. And just do the TikToks and the Snapchats and the. Well, fine. We'll do stuff. It. We need to. We we got time today. I don't want to do them today. Well, to, no, you just said what? What? what you what just TikTok you literally just said that's true. We need to get off shit or get off the pot. But I got a shit. But other than that, I've been good. How have you been? I've been all right. Have my ups, have my downs, have my highs and my valleys. Nothing really crazy happening. Nothing new. It's no, but. We live in a very interesting time. Do yeah. we not? We have Game of Thrones is back. Well, that's not. The way of Game of Thrones. And we have the Lord of the Rings is back too. A lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't like the Lord of the Rings, but a lot of people love the House of the Dragon. Who's, where's a lot of people don't like, like, well, like the Lord of the Rings? Well, they're review bombing it, so it looks like people hate it. A lot of people do that because they ain't got nothing better to do with their time. Know. They did it for The Last of Us too. They did it for. They did it for a bunch of stuff. But it had the highest, like, premiere of anything. Well, you strap Lord of the Rings to anything, and I'm pretty sure... 25 million. I like it so people far. People like you, who are humongous fans and read all the back lore and all the stuff like that, you're going you're gonna to be like, all right, this is good shit. Well, I think it's complicated. Because they're just there's like characters they just made and threw in the show, yeah, and, yeah. and they're changing some lore around. Uh, that's going to happen. It's like in House of the Dragon. I'm pretty sure they're changing some lore around, too. Probably. But, you know, people are upset that a character's black. Who cares? <laughs> Who gives a damn? I agree with that. You know, he's one of the better characters on the show. They're, cause they're trying to loop that in there with the whole woke bullshit. Yeah, woke culture. But, uh... That's not the type of air quote woke that bothers me. Like, so what if they're black? Who, who gives a shit? Yeah. Uh... All I care about is can he act? And he can. He can. He has shown it numerous times that he can act, but other than that, I haven't, I haven't finished the second episode of Lord of the Rings. I'm caught up on House of the Dragon, but... Of course you are. The one that means the most to you. Yeah. Yeah. If I had to pick Game of Thrones over Lord of the Rings. You talking about as a whole or like series as for series? Huh. Books are better, too. You read of Ice and Fire? Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. When? Because I know you're still not done with it. Uh, those books were made years ago. Yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance of Dragons. Read them all. Each by page. Yeah. Feast for Crows wasn't that great. Dance for Drag Dragons was good. Ended with Jon Snow getting snapped. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> but so we never got past that point. So his books, he think he's still got more, two or more books to come. A dream, of sp a dream of Spring and the Winds of Winter, but the show passed him by. Which just still upsets me to this day. You know, because he said Game of Thrones could have gone 10 seasons, and I can see it. HBO is willing to pay for it. But I don't understand why they decided to do this six season kerfuffle with well, their points of it they yes. explained it they they said why don't remember H listen. hbo wanted to they wanted to they were going to pay for 10 seasons they wanted 10 seasons but the creators and the writers they wanted to move on to something else i think it was star wars and they wanted to move on yeah and yeah nothing so, so they just ended the show so they, they could uh, move on so there was so I'm like you fucked up your show so you could move on that's that's which great is, which was considered one of the greatest shows because i keep time. I go back and forth like I want to rewatch, rewatch it, but just knowing how it ends, like I don't, I can't. I can. Like it doesn't bother me. About it, but man. like, like season seven was seven episodes. Season eight was six episodes. Why? Ten episodes. Ten episodes. But a lot of stuff made no sense. Now the visuals, there were good points. Clegans versus Clegan. Uh, Bran is king. Wonderful decisions. The last one, sarcasm. But yeah, it's just, then made, made no John sense. Snow had the most pointless plot twist. <laughs> it, 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 it gave you nothing. Nothing. It made no sense. Her burning King's Landing, and I thought you'd agree with it. 
I thought you were going to be like, why? Yeah, they deserved it. Well, because you got some, some tendencies. What do you mean? And just to say, fuck them kids and all that stuff, you say. Yeah, but the people, of they had nothing to do with it. They weren't but the one Garrett making the decision. Says, yeah. They had it coming. Because they're, I'm like, well, what are they supposed to do? Just drop everything and leave just because they disagree? Yeah. But that, that was, whew. And the, visually, that was an excellent episode. Visually. But there was like cues of like Daenerys. Like, you, you could tell she was trying to get a little crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, that coffee cup she got, she went to Starbucks. You know, where you, where you find that? Where you find that? <laughs> I remember that. Uh, <clears throat> did I notice it? No. I didn't notice it. You probably did. In the first showing of the episode. But they edited it out now. But it just made no sense to me. I hated it. Like, I don't want to say I hated it. It was the first time I ever got to watch that show. When it actually happened. The rest, I was always seasons behind. Like, I started watching the first season when the second season was watching. So I was so excited. Me and Bree were like, yeah, we're going to watch this first off. We got that HBO app. Just to do it. And then... You know, you sidelined your greatest character, Tyrion Lannister. You made him basically the guy to say, no, we can't do this. No. I fucking, get out of here. You had six or seven seasons. I have never watched season seven, so don't, don't mess with me on that one. You had six good seasons of a show. There are shows out there. How like, are you going to call yourself a fan <laughs> you haven't seen a whole season? I don't know. I watched a bunch of recaps. <laughs> I do not know. That's why I want to go back and watch it because I have. So it so don't ever come to me with. Don't ever say ask anyone have they finished Game of Thrones and they get all uppity when they say they haven't. I didn't get uppity when I asked him. He just said he wasn't interested. I was like, oh, well, no, so there was there's times in the past you're like, oh yeah, I've never watched it, and you're like, not true. And you and you get mad at me when I don't finish a show and you didn't even finish Game how of many Thrones. Shows you got and you said how many you talk you about how much you right. love Game uh, of Thrones. Okay, let's go through the countdown. Uh, Sopranos one, House. Two. House, I'm still watching. You started it at one point, never finished it. No, I didn't. Uh, House, I've never started. Name some shows. House, I've never started. Right, fine. I just watched That's it not, when okay. other people was on. Sopranos. Sopranos stopped being good. I lost interest. It did. Okay, now watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> it did. But let's not do this. All right, Sopranos, what else? Ozark. You know why. Piggy Blinders. You know why. Yeah, but you could have gone back and watched it. But because you watch it, you're like, I don't remember none of this shit. And I'm the one Here's my problems. thing. It's because I got watched them. I binged them, got completely caught up. And then there was like a year or a year and a half until they released a new COVID, season. Man. And I just never went back and rewatched the seasons. But I never skipped the season. I'll tell you what. I say I just finished Ozark, and I think that's an awesome and show. I never, but I've never like skipped a season or not watched a season. But like, yeah, I watched the whole show. You know what? You want to know something really funny? Is I watched season two of Sons of Anarchy first when it first came out. I skipped the whole first season, didn't even watch it. I don't know. <laughs> That's in the way, and like the way you are with shows, it surprises me that you haven't anymore. watched. I don't do it anymore, but I I did it back then because I watched it when it was going two thousand nine. I used to sit there because there was two shows on there: Sons of Anarchy and Terriers on FX, and I watched both shows. Terriers got canceled, but that that made me mad because I like Terriers. But watching, I watched every episode and I was hooked. Hooked on it. My favorite season has to be season four. Of what? Sons of Anarchy. I watched Sons of Anarchy when I graduated high school. <clears throat> but you finish it? Mm-hmm. Okay. But season four, when he when he was like him and Clay, just at Ron Perlman. Because it bothers me the way it ended. Like it was too, like on yeah, the nose. but it just is what it is. Now you got Mayans you can go to. I heard it wasn't good. Yeah, you heard it, but yeah, it's personal opinion. That's true. Am I gonna watch it someday? Yes, I do plan on watching it. But I'll watch it even right it. now. No, I'm trying. I can barely get past. I, I watched one season of Peaky Blinders. That's it. I'm still, and I finished that like a week ago. Usually, I was on point. Ozark, I was on point. You know, watched an episode here, watched an episode there, but then watching Banshee. How long did it take you to get through the the strain? Stain the strain. Didn't take me long for the strain. It took me forever for Preacher. That's what I was thinking. Preacher took me a while because Preacher got a little weird in the in the end there. What about American Gods? No, that didn't take me long. That was that show was weird because it ends on a big cliffhanger that you're supposed to expound upon, but then they canceled the show. Like the I Glades read the book. did that too. Huh? The Glades did that too. I read the book 
where it was saying that he, you know, the whole thing, and then there's supposed to be a whole other chapter you're supposed to expound upon, but that never happened. And I was upset generally about that because I felt like one more season could have been decent enough, you know, no matter how long the season. The first season, American Gods is weird. It's a weird show. Takes you a minute to get, get yeah. Past so I got like the first episode or second episode was like yeah. But when watching it in hindsight, you're like, okay. A lot of people didn't like the second season because they felt like it went down in quality. But it was like okay. But the last season was good. Ian McShane, generally anything he's in, I mean he plays Odin, so you can't really go wrong with him playing Odin. You can't be wrong with him playing anything. I'll tell you that right now. And if you disagree, you disagree, but. I showed you a Deadwood clip once. You were just not interested. It's because I had no context. It's just him ranting. <laughs> yeah, it's just he's like I don't. Mad. Why he's getting his woohoo sucked? Yeah. So it's like so like <laughs> that that's is an odd scene. So like so like I have no like I have no idea what he's talking about. What yeah, he's no, ranting he about? Mad, he was mad about something, and the whole episode is him just drinking, getting madder and madder. So like so like, yeah, he just threw me in there. I'm like I don't know nothing that's happening. It's such a good show though. Like Deadwood, I love that show. Like HBO to me is. A plus. I'm not happy with what they're doing now, but it's A plus. What are they doing now? They're doing some merger, taking stuff off, you know? The only reason I have my streaming services is just so I know I have them. There's streaming services I don't even use, but now I have them. I'm comfortable. For some reason, it gives me anxiety if I don't have them, you know? Is that a good way to think? No. No. No, it's not a good way to think. But you know what? Can't help it. At least they're there. They're there, yeah. They took a show off HBO Max that I'll probably never watch, and I panicked about it, thinking, oh, I don't have it anymore. Vinyl. It was a show with uh, Bobby Cannavale. You know who that is? Have you seen Boardwalk Empire? Some of it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have seen it. Let me see if I can pull up. Uh, Steve, pull up a picture of him real quick. That's Bobby Cannavale right there. You know him? Sure. You didn't get look at the picture yet. Oh, I gotta wait for him to pull yeah, it up. Lion. He's being slow today. What's going on? How much we pay you, Habib? Yeah. Yeah. So you know him. So it's a show about him finding, you know, music. Like, you know, he's like a music producer. Him and Ray Romano's in it. And if anyone's seen the show Everybody Loves Raymond, you know Ray Romano's a gem. Well, they removed it. Off HBO Max. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm gutted. Because while I don't think it's a show I'll ever watch, I still have no chance now. Because I even went to Amazon to see if you could buy it. <laughs> and guess what? You can't. But God forbid, if they touch The Wire, if they touch Deadwood or anything like that, I will, I will write a letter to the president. Not the president, but... Whoever owns HBO Discovery. Yeah. Charles Dolan. That's who owns HBO Discovery? He's the founder. Yeah. Charles put vinyl back on there. They took episodes of Sesame Street off. Sesame Street off. He's 95 years old. Well, he probably does not go to the board meetings anymore. Well, they canceled. He is a businessman, American billionaire businessman, best known as the founder of Cablevision and HBO. Damn. They canceled the Batgirl movie, which everybody was happy to see. Brendan Fraser was having a comeback. As Batgirl? Yeah. I thought you sounded like you said bad girl. Batgirl. Like, bad. Yeah, as a villain, bad. Firefly yeah, or something like that. Yeah, just, you know, why? Why remove a project? These people took... Apparently, it was, like, almost complete. That's what I'm like saying. Like, it was done record. They, they finished re- filming it. They were almost done editing it. You spend the money to essentially make this movie only to shelve it. Now, no one's ever going to see it. Well, they're, they're, they did a... They either did or they're doing, doing, like, a limited release for, like, the people who were involved with it. And then they're shelving it. I but, yeah, it's, like, that. in the middle of his, his resurgence... And then Michael Keaton was going to come back as Batman. Like, come on. Now we got to hope for The Flash. Ezra Miller to get his shit together. You know? Apparently he was, like, apologizing. Yeah, I saw. But when they said about canceling or whatever, or Batgirl got canceled, something, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, because he sees. Now, mind you, <laughs> should it have been canceled probably a while ago? Probably, because he went batshit crazy. He was in a, some. He was in a, what Hawaii hunting the KKK, and then he was grooming a family in another state, and then traveling with a gun in another. Like, what do you got going on, man? Drugs. It's gotta Copious be copious amounts of drugs. It's gotta be because I don't know why. Why you do that same? Just the just the amount of just nonsense you hear about this fella. Because you hear Ezra Miller, you always figure it's not gonna be good. No. You hear his name like, oh, what did he do now? What did he do now? How is the Flash ever gonna be released? No, but apparently it is. Apparently it did well. Like the priest. Screening or whatever. Oh yeah, he's he's a hell of a Flash. He's a hell of a guy as the Flash, but just, just come on, man. And then there there are people in HBO Discovery are saying the Snyder Cut should have never happened. I saw some of this. What was why? Oh, we didn't want to, you know, discourage the actual Justice League. Well, the Snyder Cut was ten times better than that two hour nonsense that was released. I'd have heard, I'd have preferred to stay at two hours though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but there's still parts about it, like the axe coming down on Superman. That was cool. And that Step- wasn't in the original? I don't think so. Steppenwolf looked ten times better than he did in the in the actual thing. And then we actually saw Darkseid. Yes. I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. Because Dark, Darkseid was a badass. You found the anti-life equation. Anti-matter, anti-life. I think it's anti-life. I don't know. But it was just weird. But Desmond Miller as the Flash was good. You know? He he has a talent as the Flash. Uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman. That's gonna that's an A-plus movie, you know, besides Amber. But Yeah. So. They moved all those movies back for some odd reason. Because... They don't have enough move, money to release them, apparently. But yeah, so does. I'm hoping Black Adam does well. Sets him on the right course, because Black Adam, he looks like a badass. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. They're recent that one. What? Uh, don't worry, my darling, or something like that. They're really. Those are the only two they're yeah, releasing. So. And don't worry, my darling has all that issues with about Shia LaBeouf apparently being fired, and then. They're going after Jordan Peterson. Apparently, she, uh, Chris Pine's character is supposed to be like Jordan Peterson. And Jordan Peterson responded back. I haven't seen any of that. Yeah, he's he wasn't happy with it, but he's like Chris Pine playing a character based on me. I'm flattered. And then said whatever Jordan Peterson says. Because apparently, though, what's the worst? She won't be at the the, the premiere. premiere or something like that. Yeah. Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh is actually a decent actress. Actually, anything she's been in, she's been good. Midsummer, Black Widow, Hawkeye. Bitches. Plus, she's gorgeous. Yes. You know, not more gorgeous than Shrek, but. What? I'm reading that, trying to find out what that. He's reading everybody. Olivia Wilde directed it. Yes, yes, she did. She's been in quite a few films herself. Shia LaBeouf. She said she fired him, but then he said, "I quit." That whole story. So there's that. No dead air. I'm just trying to see what he's reading. He's upset. He's not upset, but he's throwing his hands up in confusion. He doesn't know what he's saying. Because anyone who actually knows Jordan Peterson and his work and what he stands for, everything that they're saying is complete bullshit. 
like because just reading like with that gotcha. the Maggie Gyllenhaal, whatever her name was, if you Maggie Gyllenhaal, yeah, she's not even in that. No, she was talking about it though. Oh, and Olivia Wilde, but all the things that they were saying, if you know them, it's none of it's true. Some pe- well, some people see them that way, so well, I don't know just because you see it that way doesn't mean it's accurate. Well, that doesn't mean. To my like thinks like men's entitled to sex from women. He's th- th- he doesn't believe that whatsoever. What? He believes that? No, but it says that he's pop the 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 fan base, like some of his fan base are people who believe that Just because they 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 he rationalizes or whatever. Aren't you a fan? No. A fan, Jordan Peterson, yes. Not don't worry, my darling. I wouldn't know. I've never seen it. Well, I heard it's not going to be a good film. We will. We, we shall see. Yes, we shall. Well, I'm actually. I don't know. No, I probably won't ever watch it. I don't think I will. <sighs> Mind you, Harry Styles has impressed me in the films he's been in, but Dunkirk. So the film. Well, he's I mean, in the Eternals too, but the Eternals. Yes. It wasn't bad. He was there for like what five seconds. Hey, five seconds can make my last a lifetime in the cinematic world. If you spend all your days of your life just watching Harry Styles clips from Eternals. Well, it's one scene. <laughs> but on repeat. Yeah, no. He looked good. The suit was good. The brother of Thanos, which... Okay. Yeah, because Thanos got that gene or whatever. Just the whole movie bothers me. The whole movie bothers you. You didn't hate that movie. No, I'm talking about... Um, how who was it that asked him I can't remember we're talking about like why didn't you get involved with Thanos or whatever like that and they said oh they told us to stay away from only only if it's deviant I'm like but he is Thanos is like half eternal, like half deviant. Like he has the deviant, like by like he is. So like your argument is, yeah, well, looks like we look crazy. It makes no sense. Away, but they may not have known he was a deviant. I don't know how they did their deviant checks. I don't know. Oh, deviant. Unless they just assume if they don't look like that thing, they're, yeah, they're not a deviant. Like a fucking weird creature. Like a fucking creature wrapped with fucking ox cords. Wasn't a bad movie though. No. Pretty decent. Was it a little boring in parts? Yes. But anything Gilgamesh, I'm all about. Yes. Angelina Jolie actually impressed me a little bit. Uh, yeah. You've I'll, never fought me before, but I've always wanted to. Uh, I want to see more of Kit Harrington in the in his role, and I think we're going to see more of that hopefully. But he has the persona he's going to be taking on after he has the ebony blade. And of course, Blade spoke for the first time. Was they? You would think they would. I'm pretty sure Kit Harrington's not cheap. So you would think they'd have to get more use out uh, of him. He would be cheaper than some. That's true. Not for the Eternals, but like for other other roles, like he'd be cheaper than Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, ten you know, million, Evans, ten Mark million, Ruffalo. ten million dollars for like nine minutes of screen time. Yeah, or Chris Hemsworth. I guarantee Chris Hemsworth. Because now they're gone, so he's probably the top dog now, and I'd say Ruffalo and such. Well, they're all making the same, minus Robert Downey Jr., they're all making the same money. Not well. Like $15 million a movie, I think it was. And Robert was making like 30 to 50 Now they got the show. A lot of people don't like this this new phase of Marvel, said so it's been a weak, weak phase. The Ebony Blade, I don't understand. Well, I'll we'll find out more. Because he had it. But has he wielded it? But... but no, he he. But then it got destroyed. Who got destroyed? Didn't wasn't that what Gore was using? No. Gore was using the Necro Sword. You're right. Uh, yeah, I just kind of fucked that all up. Oh my god. Yeah, Gore Gore's sword was giving a power yet draining his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Yeah. <clears throat> it was cool. What did he say though? What did um? What did Blade say? You sure you're ready for that? Mr. Mr. Whitman. Whatever. Yeah, Mr. Whitman. Yep. Yeah. I can't wait for Blade. I love that actor. Of course, he already played a Marvel character on Luke Cage, but... 
Um, and he did it well. I'm gonna have to wait till the movie comes out. Fucking Wesley Snipes. You gotta think that's who I grew up with too. But that's the first one and the second one maybe, but the third one, no. He's Especially my, how he's Wesley my, Snipes, he's my blade. Was acting backstage. He was wearing sunglasses. Kept calling Ryan Reynolds cracker. Somehow he refused to open up his yeah. eyes or close his eyes or something like yep. that. So, no, no, refused to open his eyes. So they CGI'd his eyes open. It's like why? Apparently, smoked a lot of weed. Well, that. But. Hid money from the IRS. Yeah, and but he just was. Yeah, well, that's why he was in that prison in Expendables Three, tax evasion. You know. Well, see, I like the actor. Jake and Lang, Jake and Lang. But it's just like. You're used to seeing someone as something. Is he that good of an actor, though? It's not even that. It's just... Blade, the original Blade, is amazing. Like, because to me, it's like... He is a badass in that movie. His gear looks cool. The second one was kind of weaker to it's me. It's kind of like Hugh Jackman. Not, not, as, not as amplified, because he did it for so long, and he's a better actor. But it's like, I only know Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, so someone else is no, going to... You know him for Prisoners, too. Well, you know what I mean, as far as that goes. Yeah, but... He was fantastic in Prisoners. Yes, but Hugh Jackman is something. Is like just, where he sees the sock in the picture. Yeah. And he's... <laughs> but, uh... That movie yeah, will get him, you. Him is... I, boy, I, have, I told Bree we gotta watch it soon, because she likes those kind of movies. I said, but just be warned, it's heavy. Yeah. So all those movies, I'm like, ah, damn. Beautifully acted, though. Cool. One of the best. Jake Gyllenhaal, too. I have Jake Gyllenhaal, Terrence Howard... Detective, Viola Davis. Detective Loki. Uh, yeah, Which I love a, Viola Davis too. An odd name. And I can't... Monica... I can't think of the lady's name. The wife. Maria Bello or something like that, I think. But... Him as Wolverine. I... I don't, I don't know if I could see anybody else doing the role. Paul Dano? Paul, yeah, Paul Dano, yes. Terrence Howard? I said him. Jake Gyllenhaal, Hugh Jackman, Paul Dano, Melissa Leo, Terrence Howard, yep. Maria Bello, yep. David Dash. Oh yeah, he was that. that Wayne weird Duvall. Um, Just like all the main people. But uh, yeah, eighty-one percent. I think it deserves more. In my opinion, it's like a 95% movie. Yeah, it's great. What's the audience score? 87. A little better. It's not often you find movies that reach that, that you know, 81, 87%. Plethora. Mm. But we'll see. We will see if Blade is... Damn. What? Uh, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power has an 84 Rotten Tomato score, but a 39% for audience. Damn. Terminal List had a 39%, but a 94 audience. The Patient has an 86 and 87. Yes. Have you watched that trailer yet? Yes. Did you? Yeah, you're going to have to watch it on here. Why is that? I just wasn't that interested in it. Plus, we got all this shit we gotta watch. That's why I need to add it to the list so I'll actually watch it. Hmm. I, I didn't see the trailer for it, I just saw a scene from it. This scene looked good. But, uh. Yeah, I think he'll overtake Wesley Snipes' blade. You know, because Wesley Snipes' performance was so wooden. What's another Wesley Snipes movie you like? Bro, come on. If you would have asked me, I could have fucking told you. Come on. He I was can in name like fifteen off the back of my he head. He was in uh the Mar what was that movie? US Marshals? No. Cap Yes. Yes. Um he was in Game of Death. I don't know that one. Um He was in uh Expendables three. He was in um Brooklyn's finest around town? I would say that one, but yeah. Um, the one that's it's like right here, but I can't get it out. I can't think about it. They, they did two of them. Art of War. Yes. Was he in the second one? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Uh, you also got Passenger 57. You got Drop Zone. I haven't seen any of those. You have Jungle Fever. Oh, he did that movie with uh, have... Sylvester Stallone. Was it Sylvester Stallone? The Expendables 3, yes. No. What's that movie where he was like frozen and he came back to life or something like that? Demolition Man. Yeah. Oh. Isn't that Sylvester Stallone? Yes. You didn't like that movie. It wasn't horrible. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my personal favorites of all time. I you didn't that. even think of that one. No, I didn't. I said he was for Sylvester Stallone. You're like, oh, Expendables 3. Because he, uh, he was like, smile, you're on TV. And he threw a TV at him. That fucking shit was funny. Simon Phoenix. Hilarious. John Spartan and Simon Phoenix. 1993. That's when Stallone was. Stallone, Schwarzenegger, Willis, they owned the action genre. But now he's over here getting divorces. Well, Stallone, yeah. Getting his wife's tattoo covered up so it's this doll. White men can't jump. Mm -hmm. Money train. New Jack City. Uh. The Contractor. King of New York. Coming to America 1 and uh, 2. Undisputed. Oh, mm -hmm. Murder at the 1600. Murder at 1600. Yep. Chaos. 7 Seconds. The Fan. Oh, yeah. Bobby Rayburn. Unstoppable. Total Recall. What? Sugar Heel. Armed Response. is a Total Recall. Well, it's credited here. So I As what? I have no idea. The 2017 one, though. I think. I don't know. Disappearing what was Act. The 2017 one. The Detonator. Underworld, apparently. I don't know. He wasn't. He was not in Underworld. Well, that's what Wikipedia will get you. No, it won't. I'll I'm looking you. on Wikipedia Hold right on. now. Hold on. Let me let me prove you wrong because you're probably reading it wrong. You got to know how to read Wikipedia. Just because you don't know how to read Wikipedia. All right, let me tell you. Let me show you. All right, this is films. One Night Stand, the big hit. He was a producer only. Best actor in a dramatic series. He won an outstanding lead actor in a motion picture. He won it. Total Recall. It was a sh It's a Canadian... The Recall. You wrote that. You read that. I wrong. read that all wrong. The Recall. So, in the words of our truth, that's all me. That's all me. Yeah, that's the. Yeah, that definitely does say the Recall. What was the other one you said? This one said Underworld. Yeah, he was definitely not in Underworld. Yeah, definitely not. It has him. I'm confused. He was in an episode of What We Do in the Shadows. Because, yes. Because I went... Because I was on Wesley Snipes movies and then it said it. It said Underworld. So then I went to actual Underworld and I'm looking at Underworld's cast and he's on there. As what? I don't... It doesn't list... He's in some weird show called The Player... Yep. That was canceled because apparently it was hot garbage. You ever seen that show? You know I have. You deliberately did that because you were fishing for me to say something. I would never fish for you to say anything. Yeah, you do. You do it all the time. Yeah, so do you. I'm well aware. We're fishers. That's what we do. Fishing, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know why I keep saying he's in it. Yeah, but I see nothing about Underworld. Oh, Major well. League, too. He's in Major League. That was a good one. Willie Mays Hayes. Yep. New Jack City, Passenger 57. Those are, those are definitely list movies.
he was in a movie called Rising Sun with Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. My name is Sean Connery, and I want to know who killed these prostitutes. Is that what he says? Huh? Is that what he says? No. He's been in some movie where a prostitute gets murdered. Should be. I don't know. Why should he be? Oh, couldn't tell you. Why should he be, Alex? What do you mean? You said he should be. Why should he be? Because constantly in movies, there's always one film where prostitutes get murdered. You haven't heard about that? No. It's the uh, cause and effect law. I've never heard that. Damn. Damn. I thought that was, I a, thought damn was a damn zebra. zebra. But other than that, man, I can't I can't complain. Life's been good. Yeah. Hopefully this week is gonna be better. I hope so. Get out of there a decent time. Oh yeah, you know. Hmm? You're the big dog, you forget that. No, I'm not. The big dog. You gotta make sure those flower pots are in a spot where they can find them below. I don't have to. They're supposed to go out tomorrow night, so we'll see if they remember. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. If they not, they don't. Ain't on don't ain't on me, Chief. Ain't on me, Chiefy. I'm just a low level supervisor. And I'm just a low level peon. You're a supervisor too. I'm a I'm just a boy in a man's world. Yes, <laughs> you're a low level supervisor. Hello, sir, may I have some more butter? Some more? Some more butter. You're just a peon like me. Hmm. Two low level supervisors. Peon me. Even though you gave me a cruel nickname. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. Did you tell your mom about it? No. Oh. Hello, sir. May Go ahead, what'd you call me, Alex? I called you the manager who never was. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry. You may someday. We shouldn't talk about such things on the cast of the pod. People may hear it and be like, those sons of bitches. Like who? Huh? I'm going to manage my own business. <laughs> be like, we, we manage our business, you manage yours. Slut. I feel that. Man. <sighs> All right, just, everybody. How'd you sleep Let's last you... night? Huh? How'd you sleep? I slept like shit. Mm. It's also turned all night. Off and on. I went to bed. One o'clock. I got in bed as soon as I went home. As soon as I got home, but I fucking tossed and turned. I went to bed around one. I fell asleep. Uh, woke up around eight. Handled some business. Came here. Played magic. Opened my Snapchat. Didn't respond for over an hour. Yeah, be like that sometime. But uh two years in a row you did it. <laughs> I'm just saying. But uh Alright everybody. This has been the one. I would month. forget. Do you trying to end the podcast? Huh? You trying to end the podcast? What more do you want to talk about? I have no idea. Oh, there's a topic. What? My mom gave it to us, but I'm trying to remember exactly how it was. Oh good. It was something about if you're stuck on an island, you had to pick three people to be with you from each category. Survivalist, famous chef, and it was like one more, but I can't remember who it was. Gordon Ramsay. I said Gordon Ramsay, but then I, I don't know if I'd be stuck on an island with Gordon Ramsay. Oh, I love it. You fucking toy. You say that until he just starts berating you like that, day in and day out, all already, day long. You already do it to me. No, I, I don't. Not me. okay. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. I don't berate him. Oh, poor baby. Oh, okay, everybody. <laughs> this has been another episode of the One Thing About Us podcast. I'm Justin. I'm at it. I'm the Emerald Soccer and Bishlandlock. And I'm exhausted. Stay sexy. Stay classy. Keep laughing. Yeah.